everybody, Mangrove Mike here, fishing again in 2019 in the 10,000 Islands. <clears throat> this year you may notice we've got a new thing kind of happening, a new skiff, the beaver tail micro. And uh, fishing this year with a familiar face you may recognize if you've seen some past videos, special guest Red Fish Fish Ryan. You know what we're going after today? We're targeting the redfish, my favorite. Get some on the line for you here pretty soon. Yeah. Thanks for joining us this season. We're going to see what the uh, beaver tail micro can do. Hopefully it puts us on some fish. In the winter of 2019, my nephew and I went looking for redfish. We caught a little bit of everything. Little snappers. But the redfish we found, they were all very small. Small fish, rat sized redfish. We even jumped a few tarpon here and there. But we couldn't find the redfish. So, we went looking for other things. And what we found was Snooptopia. The beaver tail micro got us in the waters that previously we could not reach. We found plenty of snook in the 3 to 4 pound class and much larger. Youthful exuberance in the 10,000 Islands area. These little snook are always digging for the mangroves. This guy here I think he's done, and I go to lip him, and he jumps away from me. Let's check it out again. This guy here takes off, and Taya walks about four feet up the side of the skiff away from me. Nice. Line siders, sight fishing, and worm casting pockets. Little holes with current running. You can kind of see the current flowing here. Leaves passing by. <laughs> the area we found and began to call Snooktopia was a rather large scenic area with several flats to sight fish snook, lots of creeks with pockets to blind cast and current and plenty of mangrove uh, areas to blind cast when the time is high. The 
this guy here is a crazy little joke. And another snow comes to hand in the snow tone. Here's an epic battle for my nephew. Tearing up the top water, blind going in and out. We always had our hands full fighting the fish, pulling the boat to control the boat, and trying to get video at the same time. Another one bites the dust. Here's my nephew on another snook, and you can probably hear the wind in the background. But with Snooktopia, there was always an area where we could get out of the wind and find some protection to still fish. This fish is tearing up the top, and I think you can kind of see here the water's pretty clear. There were days when the water was clear, and there were days when the water was dirty. You just have to change your fishing techniques during these times. Snooktopia was a reliable spot for snook, and we also found some little tarp. We're going to let the spot rest. But you can guarantee, when we need our Snook fix, we'll be back to Snooktopia. Yeah. That's the good way to end the day right there. That's all that.